Hey, what's up guys? Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Now, I just want to address an issue that you might be having. So if you are streaming on a one PC setup and your stream is lagging, but your game is fine, I'm going to try to explain a few things that what might be caused, what's called probably, you know, causing it. Uh, so if you have a dual PC setup or a PC with the Elgato graphics card and you're having that type of issue, uh, you could try these out, but if it doesn't work, that's something that I'm not really familiar with, but, uh, let's, I'll try to help you as well as in this video. So let's go ahead and get into this. Um, it's super simple. So when I'm streaming, I have only three things open discord Streamlabs OBS and my game, nothing else. Uh, if you're streaming and you have your pre like your Twitch open right here, so you could see yourself live right here and then you have your game or whatever, having Twitch open alone can cause your stream to lag. So when I have Twitch and I'm seeing myself live right here, my stream lags for some reason, don't know why it just lags. So try to have nothing open. Just try to, you know, close off the Twitch and have no Chrome tabs open. Just try to have the things you need open and that's it. And check if that works. If that works, boom, you're, you're straight. Because a buddy of mine had that issue. And we were going through a bunch of things. And I over skipped that because I just kind of figured he didn't have it. And then when I asked him, he's like, you know, oh, yeah, I haven't closed it. And that was it. As simple as that. And it streams way better now. It's like nice and smooth. <clears throat> Keep in mind, you will have a lag here and there. Like a nice little stutter. But it's not going to be nothing insane. Um, so try that. If that works, cool. If not, then let's get to the next issue. Next one could be as simple as this. The preview right here. You see this? I'm right here and then right here and right here and so on having this open can also make your stream lag or stutter uh, I know when I have mine open uh, I'll lose like five or ten frames and then my stream will be stuttering so I always have this off so when I'm streaming I you know you go right click on the side of like the little empty space right here right click performance mode that's it boom it says preview disabled in performance mode so you can't see your preview right here uh, I usually have another computer right here connected HDMI to a monitor on top and I could see my stream right here. So I have a totally separate laptop so I could see my stream. That's how I do it. <clears throat> you know, I could see kind of what the viewers are seeing and then I'll click this right here and I'll have this open. This is how I have it on the side. I could see who followed and who, you know, followed or whatever. And I'll have my little comments right here and I just have it to the side. And so that's how I have it. Uh, if try that, if you were still stuttering, let's get to the next issue. So the next issue could also be bitrate. So let's go ahead and look at right here what uh, Twitch kind of recommends and stuff like that. Uh, NVE NC specs, you know, this is what, you know, it kind of recommends nice and 20 or whatever. I would recommend to only stream on nine, uh, 720. If you're streaming other anything other than 720 on a single PC setup at 60 frames, you're going to have a hard time. And that's something, you know, I tried making it work and it kind of worked, but it just wasn't appealing. Some viewers, you know, because if you're a new streamer like I am, you know, you, you want to try to get views and, you know, if I'm trying to see your 1080p stream and you're new and it's not loading, I'm going to be like, oh, you know, I'm just going to go to someone else. So <clears throat> for now, if you're on a single piece setup, just stream 720, 60, it's going to be fine. It's going to look the same. I'm looking at it from a phone like everybody else is. You can't really see a difference. So you're good right here. Um, now, here's another thing, too. When I stream, I stream on simple. I don't use advanced. Why? Because I don't know. For some reason, it doesn't work for me. Uh, maybe it's just uh, because I have a single piece setup or who knows what uh, I learned all this stuff 90% on my own uh, There was other things that I tried learning and you know I looked online and whatever and just nobody really helped me so all this stuff I did kind of just learn on my own and you know and I'm learning as I go so you guys are probably in the same shoes as I am so <clears throat> now let's get to another issue why I might be doing that so just have it on simple try simple uh, if your internet's good I have 300 up 300 down I leave it on 6,000 the regular one, I don't have it. Don't use this one. It's, it's, it's crap. It doesn't work. So this one, I don't use it either. So I just leave it right here. Uh, but, you know, you might be able to try. You might try the other one. Oh, it's not letting me click it anymore. But you could also try the other one, see if that works. But the the software one, 26, uh, that might work for you. But if not, just try this one. And then I leave it at this. So this is all basically the settings that it recommended me. So once you, when the first time you use Streamlabs OBS, it will ask you, do you want to use recommended settings? You know, try that. Okay, cool. It's going to scan your PC and it'll give you the settings and then tweak it from there. That's what I did. If you have, uh, you know, if you have good internet, just try messing with the bit rate. If your stream's still kind of laggy after those other issues, uh, try bringing this down by 500 each time and, you know, check it out, see where it's at. Uh, now, if it gets to the point, if you, okay, now, if you have really, really bad internet and you're trying to stream, I'm just going to let you know right now, it's not going to work. Like, I have a buddy who he has bad internet and he's trying to stream and he just can't because he has to have his bitrate at a thousand and it just looks really pixelated and you know it's just and it's still stutter so it's kind of like so that's one of the things you need to have some pretty decent decent internet to stream <clears throat> so now after that if your stream is still stuttering let's try something else let's go to advanced 
And if you notice, I haven't pressed anything else. That's because I don't use anything else. I only use the things that I've tweaked. And so process priority. Don't really know what it does as much. I just know it's something about the CPU. But when I had it on any other section right here, it kind of stuttered. As soon as I clicked above normal, boom, it got smoother. I was like, all right, cool. Video, color format, NV12. I leave it right there. Leave that right there. I changed this from part from full to partial just because there's no reason to send full. Why? It's, it's a stream. That's my experience. I could be wrong for what it does, but that's just what I think. And also for his GPU as render device, I noticed when I had this clicked on, it uh, it just made my stream smoother. I guess some, I guess the issue was with something about it. You know, if your GPU can't be used as render device, it just even if you're using NVE, see whatever the hell, it makes your CPU and it just does all this stuff. But this forces your GPU and it renders off your GPS. It's just confusing. Like streaming is super confusing. But I leave it right there, and then from that, it actually helped me and made my stream smoother so uh if you guys look at my stream i'll leave my twitch in the bottom you guys could check it out there uh you can see my past clips and stuff you can see how my stream looks it it sometimes will stutter not all the time but most of the time it's smooth and you know these are the settings that i have another thing that i want to add you know because i almost forgot uh 1920 is my base canvas so base canvas is meaning is that's the monitor that you are using to play the game so base canvas of course you're going to have that at whatever your resolution of your screen is and an output scale that's the scale that's going to be sent to your stream so mine is being 7, 1280 by 720 720 is what you want to use to stream uh, you know unlike dr disrespect and shroud and everybody like that they're using like 1080 60 frames there's a crisp but they have like some mean builds you know two pieces of, uh, it's crazy so stream at 720 trust me just we're, you're starting off, you know, you want to have a nice, good stream. Nice. You, you rather have a nice stream that's nice and flowing than something that's like stuttering in 1080, you know, because <clears throat> so don't worry about it. 720. This also right here, if you're stuttering a bit and you try the other stuff and you're still kind of getting some stutters, try taking this from the, I think it's, it, I think it goes to 15 or something like that. Or, so, but I can't see it. It's locked as you can see, uh, cause uh, I'm recording, but, um, try the second one down and that, that might also solve your stuttering i know when i first started off and i did this first it kind of fixed it then when i finally figured everything out i was able to put this back because you know it was other things that was making me stutter this helped too but you know now i could actually leave it at 32 and you leave common fps values and at 60. so try that and that, that also might be what can kind of maybe stuttering and also your specs so you want to check out your specs if you're running something like a geez uh 1060 and you know like an i5 yeah you're gonna need to beef up some stuff but you know <clears throat> if you're still having issues after this you know like i said just uh, leave some comments and then uh you know we could chat it up and talk about it and see see where else i could help you at if none of these worked out for you uh you know leave a comment on the bottom let me know what is you know what your problem is and maybe i could try to help you out but like i said i'm no professional in any way and how, how any of this works it's just, just my experiences and what i think it could be happening you know uh, yeah my experience so uh, I'll try to help you as best as possible and you know, we'll go from there. Uh, but thank you guys uh, for tuning into this video. I hope it was nice and short. Try to get to the point straight as much. If I got some information wrong, like I said, I'm sorry. I'm learning just as you are learning. So uh, I will make more videos eventually on how to, you know, do stream labs and how to do layouts and all that stuff, uh, things like that, how to adjust your camera to make it super slow and how to make it look better and stuff like that. So uh, and within time, just right now, baby steps, but, uh, Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will leave a few links in the comments. I mean, in the, uh, what do they say? That box down there. Uh, you know, Yeah, just down there. <laughs> uh, but other than that, thanks, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.